traffic as it warrants. But now we're going to move on here. We're going to tell you about a dire new warning from USC after the deaths of nine students in three months. And the latest death came just two days ago. We have Dave Lopez. He is live on the campus with the new alert to students as well as to their parents. Dave. Well, just about a half hour from now in this building behind me, right in the middle of the campus, uh, it's going to be a student-only meeting. They are going to discuss the situation with experts and some school administrators. It is a very serious situation here. Normally on this campus, they would have an average of 4 to 15 deaths a year, campus 48,000. Last year, they had 6. This year, 9. And the LAPD is looking at the possibility that some of these deaths may be the result of drug overdose. Today on the USC campus, the late night letter emailed to every student after 10 o'clock Tuesday night was the topic. I think it was weirdly written that the first part of the letter was about mental health and then they kind of slid in there. Oh, by the way, opioids may kill you. In part, the letter said, we need you to be aware of the dangers posed by drug use. In particular, we want you to be informed about the dangers of abusing opioids. I think they're trying to I push think, the responsibility yeah. off and mm -hmm. like not being held accountable for like student deaths. Yeah. Nine USC students have died since the semester began in August. And today, the LAPD confirmed that they are looking into the possibility that some of these deaths may have been drug overdoses. The only thing people usually consume is just alcohol and weed, like the, okay. the two. There's a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of that. The letter to the students included this. The effects of alcohol mixed with these drugs can be fatal, adding, this practice is rising and is linked to overdose and death. I've been to parties, but it's, like, it's, never, it's never drugs. It's only alcohol. <laughs> Deaths from drug overdoses nationwide have increased dramatically. That from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And locally, more than 2,300 people died in the state from opioid overdose last year. It's getting to be an epidemic. Opioid deaths are surpassing deaths from firearm injuries, motor vehicle accidents. Emergency room doctor Jennifer Zahn talking about the statewide problem, especially with the use of fentanyl. Is it a crisis, doctor? I think fentanyl is kind of new to the scene, but it's getting to be a crisis as well and part of, definitely part of the opioid epidemic. And, of course, the people that run USC are well aware of the situation. They want to make sure the students are aware of the situation. And they're also making it very clear they're offering any and all help that students may need to combat this terrible epidemic that is going across the country. Just a few minutes ago, the student body president came by. I asked him how many students he expects. He says probably about 500. Reporting from the USC campus, I'm Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News. All right, Dave.